Hey traders and welcome to another potential trade setup video. This is going to be episode 4 which means there was an episode 1 through 3 and if you'd like to see those they'll be listed in the description below along with in the top right hand corner of your screen. In today's video we're going to be discussing the Euro Yen. This is a pair that I sent out a potential trade setup on last night to all free subscribers of our email list at thetradingchannel.net. If you would like to start receiving one of my own potential trade setups each week, then you can do so by heading over to thetradingchannel.net. There will be a link in the description along with right here in the top right hand corner of your screen and signing up for our email list right here. Now if this is your first time viewing one of our videos then I want to say thank you for being here. If you're a returning subscriber I would like to thank you as well for all of your support. And if you're new make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you're alerted next time we come out with other valuable free educational content here on YouTube. The potential trade setup we sent out last night did not go through. We actually didn't get an entry based on that potential trade setup. But when we get back from the intro and disclaimer, I'm going to be discussing with you guys what I'm expecting next out of this pair and another potential setup that I'm looking at going into the weekend and into next week. So if that sounds interesting, then keep it locked through the intro and disclaimer, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Welcome back traders. So this is the email that was sent out to all the traders on that free email list. And if we look here, you can see that this was a market, the Euro Yen, that was down at a previous level of structure that was tested a lot of times here. We, we tested that level on a four hour chart multiple times. If you'll read with me here on the daily chart, we were also just breaking above a previous resistance level. And we have a lot of room to the upside on this pair before the next level of resistance is touched. The next level of resistance is around the 131.74 area. And on the four hour chart, we located this powerful level of resistance that we expected could turn into support, possibly if we got that right kind of entry reason here at that level. And the one hour chart, we were actually looking for some type of double bottom entry reason before getting involved in this specific trade. So let's head to the chart and discuss a little more about why we were interested in this trade. Although it didn't actually occur and we never got that double bottom, it's a really good educational opportunity for me to share with you guys exactly what I was looking at. So let's head back over to the Euro Yen. Here we are on that chart guys and we're actually on a one hour chart. Let's zoom back out to the daily and we'll discuss every aspect of the email. Just disregard all of our arrows here. I must have been testing a strategy on this pair. But if you look closely you can see an area where the market found support and resistance. And this area looks a little something like this. So we're looking at the bottom of this resistance zone being at around the 1.317 area and the top being at around the 132.2 area. For that reason and considering that we had just broken above our previous resistance level and we're actually pulling back into that level at the moment of the email that was sent out, that is our reason at least from a daily chart perspective to have a long bias on this pair. So considering we had a long bias on this pair, we went ahead and dropped down to our four hour time frame, our smaller time frame and possible trading time frame. We noticed here that we had this really nice level of resistance that was tested multiple times. One, two, three, and four tests before the market broke above this resistance level after creating this trend line to the upside and this ascending wedge pattern. And after breaking above that level, we were looking for a pullback into that level where we dropped down once more to an hourly time frame. And this is where we were looking for that double bottom, guys. We were looking for a move like this right at this level in order to get involved. And our rules for a double bottom are that we need at least the wick of the second bottom to touch the bottom of the bodies of the first bottom. So that never occurred here on the Euro Yen. Therefore, we were never able to take this as a trade. Now what's going to happen next? That's the question we always like to ask. It's what's going to happen next and honestly it's not for us to decide. It's not for us as traders to know what's going to happen next. The only thing we are really able to do is prepare for every type of situation. So currently the way we can prepare for any type of situation is by looking at what the market's done. Here on the hourly looks as though we're reversing trend and possibly getting into a downtrend but I don't pay nearly as much attention to the hourly structure levels as I do to these higher time frame structure levels so to figure out what's going to happen next we actually need to zoom back out to the daily chart. Here on the daily chart I still have a long bias on this pair reason being because we have not quite touched 
our 131.71 zone. And these structure levels oftentimes act as magnets for the market, so I think we can see a push into that level. Now, when that will happen, again, is not up to me. All I can do is prepare for that push. And the way I do that is by dropping down to lower time frames and finding entry reasons. So if we look on the four hour chart here as well, we have a break of a previous level of structure showing us that if this market does close in the next 53 minutes below our support level, some type of bearish rotation. Now it's not like something like this has not happened before and the market continued up. If we look right here in the past, we have a break and close below a support level here. And the market after breaking and closing below that level did continue higher. So again, I'm just telling you guys that to reiterate the fact that we don't necessarily know exactly what the market's going to do. So for me, a way to prepare for the next opportunity, if I'm looking at this 1.317 level to be tested, is to drop down to the hourly time frame. And guys, if you trade harmonic patterns, can you spot anything interesting here on this pair? If you said yes, and you pointed out this advanced pattern that I'm about to draw in, then congratulations, guys. This is going to be the next thing that I'm looking for here on the Euro Yen. My next long opportunity is coming in way of an advanced bat pattern. We have an X to A move that has a 50% retracement or more. So I'm going to share the rules with the bat pattern with you guys here now. Our first rule is from X to A, we need a 50% retracement. And as you can see, our Fibonacci retracement is pulled from the bottom of our swing low to the top of our swing high in order to see that 50% retracement. Next up for the advanced bat pattern, and you can write these rules down if you're someone who's never heard of advanced patterns before or someone who doesn't know the rules for this specific pattern. The next rule for this advanced bat pattern, a retracement from what we call A, so that was X to A, and a retracement from what we call A down to what we call B. B is going to be the point of that second move where the market began to rally. So our X to A was 50%. Now from A down to B, we need at least a 382% retracement for the specific rules that I trade for the bat pattern. You can see here that we got a 618 retracement. And this retracement cannot go beyond A. A is pointed out by our red horizontal line now. So with that being the case, now we look for the final move, which is going to be D. And the D completion point of a bat pattern is a retracement from X to A of 88.6%. So if we draw in the rest of our pattern here, guys, this is going to be the trading opportunity that we're looking for going long up to our next resistance level. Now, of course, considering that we've broke trend on the smaller time frames like the four hour chart, I'll be looking for my first targets up at a 382 retracement of, of A down to D, that being right here and as you can see that lines up well with our previous level of structure so so again guys it's just being prepared for any situation if this market comes down touches our entry comes up to hit our first targets right at that previous level of hourly structure and decides to go lower then we're out of the market with first targets so preparing for that situation we'll be taking off our targets around the 382 retracement and for our second targets, we'll actually be looking to see if this market can go all the way up to the 131.7 area. And for my stop, I'll be looking at right under X or right under the previous swing low, something like that. So this is the next setup that I'll be keeping an eye on for the Euro Yen. And guys, it is Friday afternoon. I will not be placing this trade today because I don't like holding trades over the weekend. What I'm gonna do is just allow this to play out for the rest of the day and see what the open has in store for us on Monday on this pair. If this market pushes down and does not violate X by the time we open on Monday, then this will be a trade that I'll be taking advantage of to see if I can get a push up to at least first targets, if not all the way up to our daily resistance level at 131.71. So we'll just have to wait and see about that. But if this market breaks below X today or by the open on Monday, then I will not be considering this a trading opportunity. And you might be asking what I'm going to do if that's the case. And if I delete some of these tools here, going back to what I was saying earlier about being prepared for any situation, let's say that this is something the market does. The market breaks below the X leg of our bat pattern before the open on Monday. Well, if that's the case, then we'll take a look at the four hour chart. 
and if we're breaking all the way down there then I'll be considering shorting opportunities and that I hope did not get too confusing guys at that point we've pushed down and reverse trend into the bearish direction and we'll be looking for this level here to actually be support our blue line at 127.75 to be support if we get a push strong enough to break below and close below the X leg of our bat pattern and that being the case that big bearish push down will give us an opportunity to possibly wait for shorting opportunities on this pair on lower time frames like the four hour and hourly so there's a few ideas of what I'm going to be looking for out of the euro yen going into next week guys and I know that this video was just about analysis but don't forget guys that it's not only a good strategy that leads to becoming a profitable trader you also need to be able to handle the stress of trading you need to be able to control your emotions during your trading experience your psychology as a trader is going to be just as important as the strategies that you use I hope these videos have been able to bring a little more clarity to your trading and your analysis if you're interested in receiving one free potential trade setup from me each week just like this one then remember to go over to the tradingchannel.net and sign up for our email list in order to do so doing that you'll also receive a free butterfly pattern tutorial for those of you who are interested in learning more advanced patterns I'm going to leave a link in the description below along within the top right hand corner of your screen to the EAP training program which is a program we run here at the trading channel in order to help traders speed up their process to become profitable so if you're interested in that then check out those links if not make sure that you are subscribed here on YouTube to be alerted whenever we come out with more free educational content again I hope this video brought value to your trading if it did please go ahead and click that like button for me and go ahead and share this video for us to support the channel I wish you guys the best of luck on all your future trades and I'll see you guys in the next video